So I'm up at Monte Cristi here, up at the, at the golf course, and I'm making my way back home, back to Monte. And I hope I don't get lost getting out of here. The big mountain you see right ahead is that's Monte Cristi. That's the mountain that I can see from my place. So I'm going to try to do this all the way back home without the GoPro overheating. And we'll just see how it works out. It rained a little bit up here today. It, it can rain here pretty good and not get a single drop in Monta. And it's only like a 15 minute ride. some pretty nice homes up here these are all custom homes that people bought the lot and then built the house some of these houses here are sixty seventy thousand dollars some probably a little more maybe even some a little bit less it's a nice place I was just told there's a there's an apartment here one apartment building that has some really nice little two bedroom apartments in them and I could rent one of them it's got a really awesome view for $800 a month and that includes internet and I think they said water but I'm not sure and it's a two minute ride to downtown Monte Cristi and about a 15 minute ride to Monta. Depending on the traffic and how I drive. I love the way these speed bumps sneak up on me. Cida El Peso. I don't, I'm not sure I understand what that means. I'm sure it probably has something to do with yield. These are some nice looking homes in here. If you live in an area like this, you're going to have peace and quiet, except for the like holiday parties and stuff like that. But all in all, it's probably going to be pretty damn quiet. Tanti, that uh, would be a visitor. So, this is the exit from the Monte Cristi Golf Course and Resort.
what road this is. Oh, no, do do. It's E30. This is the route back into Monta. If you go the other way, it goes to Puerto Viejo. And of course, this is Monte Cristo. The big building you see up ahead with the smoke coming out of it, that's a steam. That's a, that's a coffee factory. Not sure what they do there, but that's what it is. Turn on my defrost and let the cold air blow up onto my GoPro so it won't get so warm. If anybody has any idea about a better solution for recording videos from my car than this GoPro, because the GoPro has a known overheating problem. This is the GoPro 9. Or no, this is the 8. There goes the taxi on the wrong side of the road. Oh, well, he's just going to cut across. Oh, well, I guess they can do that. But if anybody has an idea, any idea of what would be a better solution, I'm all ears. I'm open to all suggestions. I'd like to be able to continue to provide these ride-along videos. And, but, you know... It seems like I can't get very far, then the GoPro overheats and shuts down. And I had to let it cool down. So, if you have an idea, tell me. They stop right on the highway. Warning. Let's just stop on the highway. So I'm going to go to the right here toward Aeroporto. I'm going to go by the airport. And the reason why I want to go by the airport is because that puts me directly on the Malacan and I can avoid most of the rush hour traffic that's on this side of town side of Monta can be quite hellish. There's the corn lady. Everybody refers to her as the corn lady. And I just want to go to the right here. This car wants to be. There we go. I made it. stripe I don't know where the center is and there's these people sweeping the road 
I don't ask me what they're doing. They're sweeping the highway. Makes sense to me, I guess. You can see it, but I can see the ocean from here. In case you're wondering, I'm doing about 90 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is in miles per hour. It doesn't feel like I have to do the conversion on it. I can ask Siri. How many miles per hour is equal to 90 kilometers per hour? 58 miles per hour. 55 miles per hour. Let's see, I'm reading it. With no, no good eyes. <laughs> About 55 miles per hour. That surprised me. There's Costa del Este. Este. That's an urbanization. You could probably buy a house in there for 60 or 70 thousand dollars, but I don't know who would want to live on this part of town. I wouldn't. So basically, you can see here on the map where I'm at. I'm just basically going to the Malacan, and then that's the way I'm going home. Just in case you're interested, on the way to Monte Cristo today, I had to stop and fill up my gas tank, and it cost me sixteen dollars and forty cents. With at two dollars and forty cents a gallon, I'm not sure how much I had in the tank. I think I had about an eighth of a tank. I still haven't been able to figure out exactly how many gallons this tank is. somebody today yeah, blow your horn that'll show him yep he'll never do that again that's the taxi pulling into a, a no tell motel the guy blowing his horn is probably jealous <laughs> Here's a taxi here that's just stopped here on the highway. Way to go, buddy. I just love these, these people stop on the highway.
see around it. There's another circle, I think. The airport is right off to the right. Here's where we are here. You can look on the map. This is where we're located. That turn right there goes into the airport. And I just ran a red light. Whoops. Actually, here in the circle, that road right there goes to the airport. That was too quick. Whoever's in the circle has the right of way. And I'm not sure, but I think this is the way I gotta go. Hope it is. If I see a Delcin Cremoso on the left, I'll know I'm going the right way. If I don't, I don't know where the hell I am. But the ocean is right off to the right. There's a car that stopped there. I would think that besides the taxis and the motorcyclists, stalled vehicles is probably the third biggest hazard with driving here. People will just, they won't make any effort to get their vehicle off the road. They just leave it parked. Right there, where's that? I don't know, I'm going the right way. Now, I'm right in front of the bus terminal here. And here you can see it on the map right here. So I'm going the right way. Now, at least we got stripes on this road, but that one car up there obviously doesn't mean anything to him or her. I just now realized that I'm 30 minutes late for my beer. I usually have my first beer for the evening by 5 o'clock. Come on, buddy. Get out of the way. God almighty, don't even pay attention to me. That was me practicing. I don't get to honk my horn very much. Here's this kid riding his girlfriend on his bicycle in the highway. I'm surprised we don't have bodies everywhere. But we don't. It's pretty amazing. I don't know why I hold my horn back there. It doesn't do any good, huh? There's, there's the bay. There's the ocean. There's a cruise ship in town today, so that means there'll be a shortage of alcohol by 7 o'clock tonight in Monta. <laughs> the bars are probably already depleted. I shouldn't say that. I know it's not very nice. Market's just on the other side of them here. Right there is right there is the fish market, it's where you can come and buy fish. It's right out of the ocean in the mornings. Got to get here early. Another 
circle. I don't know what you really call this area. I think this is Tarki, but I'm not even sure about that. But I didn't know that this is the Malacan. I've walked down this way before. They have a bicycle path there on the right. And everybody uses it. I'm surprised we don't see any cars on it. Yeah, this is Tarki. There's the sign. So we're in Tarki. This place took a lot of damage in the earthquake. The 2016 quake. Lots of damage. gas for $2.40 a gallon. Diesel is $1.75. Here's this guy just wants to come across. Sure, come on over. Everybody will stop for you. No problem. Tiny little cruise ship here in town. Not a very big one. We had a Holland America here the other day. That thing was huge. It's supposed to be like 18 decks. Like 2,600 people on board. It's a lot of people on a boat. Right there's where I turn to go to my friend Stella's place. If you come to Monte and you need to find a place to live, you need to talk to Stella Coulter. She'll help you. And you'll like her. She's just downright good people. I like her. She certainly helped me out a lot. Sorry about that taxi, I didn't mean to cut you off. So you probably recognize where we are now. There's the port, the cruise terminal, and then of course, I call it Gringo Land. Up on the right, it's all the buildings all. Well, really, you think there's, there's a lot of gringos living there expats living there but it's really a lot of the property is owned by Ecuadorians Quito, Cuenca, or Guayaquil this is where I gotta really pay attention where I'm going to because lots of people down here in cars, taxis pulling up right here they just pull right out in front of everybody like this guy thought he was gonna do give them a chance they will just if you give them an inch they'll take a while lots of people out today in this circle here I catch myself all the time going through this circle and not paying attention whoever's in the circle has the right of way I have to give them that right of way I got lucky today okay 
I'm almost home. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the ride. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. If you didn't like this video, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. Ciao, ciao. The bottom line is we need to get a dog for protection. Like if someone tried to break into our house, I'd want to make sure that they were immediately terrified.